these days, full-size pickup trucks are TFB for too friggin' big, and they're not going to get any smaller anytime soon. Even a mid-sized truck can be too much for someone who lives in the city, but wants a truck for weekend excursions to the great outdoors. And so Ford has unveiled the all-new 2022 Maverick, which goes on sale in the fall of 2021. It's basically an SUV with a bed, and we've already seen a couple of these. Honda's Ridgeline has been around for a while, and Hyundai recently showed us the upcoming Santa Cruz. The Maverick is based on the new Bronco Sport, which itself is based on the Ford Escape. Its overall length and bed are shorter than the Ridgeline or the Ford Ranger, but both truck and bed are longer than the Santa Cruz. But here's what's really different about the Maverick. It'll come standard with a hybrid powertrain, and it'll be an option to get one that runs on gasoline alone. The hybrid uses a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine mated to an electric motor and with the hybrid battery mounted under the cabin so it doesn't eat up bed space. The engine makes 162 horsepower by itself and 191 horsepower with the gas and electric combined, along with 155 foot-pounds of torque. It self-charges through regenerative braking and you don't plug it in. The hybrid system is mated to an automatic continuously variable transmission, or CVT, and it's front-wheel drive. Ford estimates fuel consumption of 5.9 liters per 100 kilometers in city driving and 800 kilometers on a tank of gas. The optional gas-only engine is a 2-liter four-cylinder with turbocharging, which Ford calls EcoBoost, and it makes 250 horsepower and 277 foot-pounds of torque. It uses an 8-speed automatic and comes only with all-wheel drive. The Maverick comes in XL, XLT, and Lariat trims. The XL and XLT will base with the hybrid, and the 2.0-liter turbo with all-wheel drive will be an option on both. The top-line Lariat will be gas only. If you want the hybrid but with more features, there will be options available, including a luxury package on the XLT. We don't have full pricing yet, but the Maverick will start at $25,900. Towing capacity with the hybrid is 2,000 pounds, or the turbo engine with a towing package will pull 4,000 pounds. Ford says that's the equivalent of two personal watercraft with the hybrid or a 23-foot camper with the turbo. That's less than the Ridgeline and Santa Cruz at 5,000 pounds, and the Ranger can pull 7,500 pounds. Payload on the Maverick is 1,500 pounds on all models. There's seating for five, but the big deal is that bed in the back. Ford calls it a flex bed, although that seems just a little bit overhyped. Both the Santa Cruz and Ridgeline have an underbed trunk for extra storage, which the Maverick does not. Instead, the flex bed includes pockets so you can put in 2x4s or 2x6s as dividers, along with eight bed tie-downs, tailgate tie-down cleats that double as bottle openers, and a multi-position tailgate. As with the Santa Cruz, that means you can reposition the cables so the tailgate opens part way, lining it up with the wheel housings for wider items, such as a sheet of plywood. Optionally, you can also get 120 volt power outlets and small bedside cubbies. But Ford's advertising much of the flexibility as do-it-yourself. So there's standard 12 volt wiring assemblies to add your own bed lighting, or threaded holes so you can bolt in a C-channel for hooks and tie-downs. There's even a QR code inside the bed that takes you to all the DIY ideas. But since not everyone is hands-on, there will be dealer accessories such as a tonneau cover, bed extender, tie-down cleats, and more. Inside, the Maverick will come standard with an 8-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and safety assist features including emergency front braking, blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, lane centering, and other assist features will be available. Also standard is Ford Pass Connect with an embedded modem and Wi-Fi for up to 10 devices and an app to use your phone to operate the locks, start the engine, check the fuel level, or find your Maverick in a parking lot. The interior includes door pockets that can hold a tablet or one liter water bottle and an available storage bin under the rear seat. There are also slots for add-ons such as device or bottle holders and back to that do-it-yourself idea Ford will publish the geometry so you can 3D print your own items to put into the slots. So what's up with all the new entries into this SUV with a bed category? I think a lot of it is that trucks have simply gotten so big that they're no longer all things to all people, and now there is a market for small. 
The Maverick has that compact footprint for tight downtown traffic and parking spots. But when the weekend arrives, campers and hikers can toss their wet or muddy gear into the bed rather than stuff it into a carpeted SUV. It's going to be enough of a truck to get the job done, and that's what a truck should be all about. For Driving.ca, I'm Jill McIntosh. And for more truck news and reviews, visit us on Instagram and Twitter.